Hey guys and folks, uh, this is the next scenario in Spark, just commonly asked in recent uh, interviews, which we call it as a pivot interview scenario, right? Th there is an input data frame, there is an output data frame on the right, I'll detail it. I'll also give you this particular execution code in the description of this particular YouTube video. I have implemented in such a way, you need not to read any data. Directly, you can able to uh, take the code. Programmatically, I have created the file data. You can directly use it. Now, let's continue the scenario. Now, if you see this pivot scenario, what is actually pivot scenario? Let me show you the data frame. frame. So, this is the input and this is the output. If you closely watch out the input data, I have three columns, PID, keys, and values. In PID, I have 1122. Keys, I have ID name, ID name. And values, I have 1001. Adi, 1002, Vas. If you see the output, I have only three columns, but different columns. PID, ID name, with 1, 1001, and Adi, and 2, 1002, and Vas. If you, if you see the actual output of this, the values, the I, the values in a column in the sec first data frame, right? The values in the of a column in the first data frame has become a columns in the second data frame. Closely watch it, right? The IDs are same, but the requirement here is we have to implement in such a way, I have to, for every PID, I have to pivot this data, pivot in the sense, a column values becomes a column names, I repeat, a column values becomes a column names. Here, the column values of keys, column in the input, I'm talking about this guy, right? This guy, the column values in the keys in the left table has become a column names in the right table. That we call it as POT, right? We call it as POT. And how that is working? So now, if I see the PID, this is my PID, and this is my PID. For the PID, I'm making ID and name. So for ID, this is 1001, and the name is ADI, Adi, right? So this becomes your first row. See, this becomes your first row. This is your first row, actually. And this becomes your second row. This becomes your second row. But how will, how will I achieve it? That's a million dollar question now. How can I make one column in the left side of the table, values, column values, become a column names in the right side of the table, and its respective ID and name do come in the same row. We call this operation as pivot, right? We call it as pivot or pivot, anything is fine. Now, how can we achieve this? Technically and logically, if you closely watch over, first, I have to, what, what I have to do here, first, I have to group. Simply, I'll write the solution now. Group the PID, group the PID, pivot the keys column, aggregate the values with first. That's a solution. It's a pretty simple solution, right? Group the PID, pivot the keys column, aggregate the values column. That's also a problem. I repeat, group the PID, pivot the key column, Aggregate the first of values. How does that work? Right? So I already kept the data ready here. Right? I already kept the data here. So closely watch out this data. I already programmatically created the file here, data here. I already have the particular data frame available. Now, hope you remember what I've said. I, PID, I have to do a group by. Keys, I have to pivot or pivot. Values I have to aggregate, right? Now, how can I do that? Well, pivot data frame on pivot DDF is equal to DF dot group by. You have to group the PID column, right? And pivot the second keys column. If you do a pivot of keys column, every value of that particular keys becomes a columns there and then 
aggregate the values dot aggregate of first of values now what it will do technically right what is the, what is the understanding of this code what is the meaning of this code let me write the meaning of this code i said this code will work this code will work but how does this code work how can i be sure what is the meaning of this code now let me show you the solution now what it will happen it will take the first see if i am doing a group by of pids what it will do it will group all the pids first remember it will group the all the pids first one to one two to two group ids grouped will happen then pivot the keys if i have a pivot key now id and name becomes a columns pivoting the keys mean id and key become the columns and i have same id and name so no worries now first of values what is the first of values very simple id is value how much simple 1001 1001 becomes id 1000 to becomes like adi becomes the names this is what the aggregation will happen 1002 becomes here this becomes max that's how the aggregate of first will work first mean taking that first value of that particular id column automatically this becomes a data frame code. we call it as a pivoting the data frame right now let's see whether i have this data five d or dot show That's it. This expected output. This is expected out. You may get one question. Right? What if I don't have name for second column? For example, for ID and name, right? For, for first IP ID, I have ID and name. If What if I don't have name for the second column? So imagine pivoting will happen for sure. Definitely pivoting will happen. Right now, pivoting will happen the ID name because one has ID and name. So, 1001 will be mapped here, Adi will be mapped here. But second column, only ID is got, pivot, got pivoted. So, this becomes 102, 1002. But for two, there is no name that becomes null here. Right? This may ask by the interviewer. So, I'm just adding that. If a particular pivoted column is not available in any of the IDs, that would be null for you. You can check that, right? This was this is what we called as a pivot interview scenario. Please uh, check the code in the description. Complete this scenario. Thank you.